Coops. Welcome and welcome back to Mount of Coops' Tarot. I am Amira. This is going to be your All Signs Daily Message for March 30th, 2022. Okay. Thank you guys so much for showing up for your continued love and support here on the channel. Don't forget to continue to do so just simply by hitting that like button and subscribing. Okay. But let's get started with these messages. Aries, what's up Aries? Happy birthday to those of you celebrating your birthday on today. My March 30 babies. Okay, happy belated to those of you who have already had your special day and uh, happy future birthday to those of you who are still waiting, okay? <laughs> Let's see what's going on for you guys on the 30th, okay? March 30th, please, for Aries with the message, please. Death card showing up in your heart space. We have the Queen of Pentacles on your mind, Aries. And your challenge is the Seven of Swords. There's some kind of significant change that's taking place here. And it's like having to think on your feet, having to plan and strategize uh, with how you're going to cope or recover, okay? I feel like you guys are in a very good headspace. For some of you, this may have to do with a financial decision, okay? But I feel like you will um, cross your T's, dot your I's, you know, pay attention to the facts and make a very practical decision. So if this is something that has been worrying you um, or could potentially worry you, I would say don't allow it to. Yeah, this has to do with finances for a lot of you or um, a significant change, okay? The Seven of Swords, though, as your challenge, is an indication of needing to plan, needing to prepare, needing to think it through. Okay, it's time to it's time to think it through and and plan your next moves. Okay, that's what's showing up for Aries, Taurus. What's up, old game? Let's get your message for March 30th for Taurus. Uh, guys, excuse all the noise. <laughs> we got a yapper in the front room, and apparently it's time to start cutting grass again, so. <laughs> Hopefully they're almost done, though. But anyway, Taurus, um, thank you for being here, okay, nonetheless. Don't forget to hit that like button before you run off and subscribe to the channel, okay? Let's see. What's going on for Taurus, please? For the 30th. I like it. Knight of Pentacles in your heart space. Ten of Cups is on your mind. There's some kind of reward here. Yeah, the challenge is the Ace of Swords. Not much of a challenge, right? An ace. <laughs> Not much of a challenge. The ace of swords is representing victory. It's representing, um, like I said, a reward of some sort. Maybe there's some communication that you've been waiting for. There's an awakening, okay? There's clarity. Yeah, six of swords at the bottom of the deck, okay? It's allowing you to move forward and in, into a place of peace, happiness, joy. Um, and I, and I, I feel like it's a reward for your patience, your loyalty, specifically your loyalty in a situation, something that you've been extremely dedicated to and committed to. Okay, there's some kind of reward here. So be on the lookout for whatever this communication is, Taurus. Yeah, look at this. Three of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Lovers. <clears throat> this is like uh, overcoming, healing, but there's some kind of significant um, connection here as well. Okay, for some of you, this could be speaking to a contract that you've been trying to obtain or something to that effect with this lover's card coming out, but really it's just a divine union, something that is meant to be connected to you. Okay, this is what's going on here. Two aces showing up. All right, that's for Taurus. 
Gemini. What's up, Gemini? Friends and family. Thanks for being here. Let's get your message for the 30th, March 30th. Mm. You guys get a bad rep. You really do. Show me Gemini, please. I feel like you need to be conscious of this today. Okay. These cards are just tore up. Hmm. All right, let's see. You have the Knight of Wands in your heart space, the Ace of Pentacles on your mind, and this Chariot card is your challenge. Cancerian energy showing up here. You guys are showing up as um, needing to remain determined and focused today. Okay, there may definitely be something that um, causes your attention to waver. Yeah, the Five of Wands. There's some kind of distraction here. Um, for some of you, this could be other people, or maybe it's all play and no work. Okay, but there's a need. There's definitely a need to focus on your your um, your level of discipline and focus on today. Because there, there's something that you're trying to accomplish. Okay, and you need to continue to be focused on it. I just need to switch decks. I'm not feeling this deck anymore. Never have I done this in the middle of a video, but I'm not about to pause it, okay? <laughs> All right. Let's move along, though, to Cancer. What's going on, Cancer? I'm just in the middle of switching decks, okay? I was using one, but I feel the need to switch. Um, and as I was just telling Gemini... I'm not pausing the video because that would just be extra editing to do, okay? But I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for showing up here. Just bear with me for one more second, and then we'll get your daily message. Don't forget to like this video as well, Cancer, okay? And subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. It truly means a lot more than you guys um, can even fathom, trust me. Okay, Spirit, what's the message, please, for Cancer? Thank you so much for your guidance. Show me Cancer, March 30th. Now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> um, okay. You have the three swords in your heart space. The devil's on your mind. I know, you know, it is crazy because those that combination of cards, right? You as a... Um, a uh, questioner, if you will, or viewer, you're like, what the hell is she laughing at? But I feel you guys like sort of whiny, <laughs> okay? You're a little whiny because there's something that you want and um, either this is someone else who's telling you no or you're telling yourself no, but I feel like, like there's something that you really, really want, okay? This could be something as small as wanting to not go to work and you have to go to work okay or it could be 
wanting to go on vacation and you don't have the money. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be wanting someone's attention or affection, wanting to get back together with somebody, whatever it is. I just feel you guys a little whiny. So that's what the giggle was about. Your challenge, Cancer, is the Three of Wands today, okay? The Three of Wands speaks to progression. It speaks to growth. This is expansion. This is someone who has been patiently waiting to get to a place of freedom. I feel like this is sort of what you need to stand on, on top of the fact that there seems to be somebody significant here who cares about you. Look at this Ace of Discs at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you need to continue to hold on. Whatever this is that you are pushing away purposely or someone else is telling you no, maybe it feels like the devil's telling you know for those of you who are religious or in that mindset right whatever it is it's with good reason it's with good reason okay <laughs> I like that okay that's for cancer <clears throat> Leo what's going on let's see what message is here for my Leos please I hope you guys are doing well I truly do um thank you for being here okay it means a lot don't forget to hit that like button before you run off though and subscribe if you should so choose all right what's here for leo please march 30th what's going on for leo Um, the overall energy I get here, Leo, is that somebody's not minding their business, okay? Whether you're aware of it or not, I feel like somebody's not minding their business, specifically. Um, you have the Queen of Discs in your heart space, Temperance card on your mind, which really is you guys trying to remain grounded. I feel like you're, you're, you guys are at peace or you're trying to be. And I say trying because this Eight of Swords is your challenge. are just are trying to find some kind of balance but there's some other energy that is interrupting that okay for a lot of you this is someone from the past or something from the past there's a page of swords and the world card should, tells me it initially because this is a similar energy to someone who is focused on their work focused on their fulfillment focused on the lessons that they have to like it is all about oneself it has nothing to do with other people but would it showing up at the bottom of the deck I, I do I, you know it could just be something as simple as someone who is spying or someone who wants to know something you know but I just feel like someone um, and it feels like someone from the past okay it's like, leave me alone. Let me go on with my life. <laughs> okay. I'm good over here. I don't know if they're not. I don't even know why they want to come through. Let's not give them any more attention. How about that? That's for Leo. You have Sagittarius um, showing up there for you. Okay. <clears throat> Moving right along. <laughs> Virgo, what's up? What's going on? Virgo. Let's get your message for March 30th for my Virgos. All placements, you guys. All placements. Okay. <clears throat> Don't forget to watch your other placements as they are relevant. Just as relevant, if not more. Especially depending upon what you're here for. Okay. Mm. 
what is I don't know what's going on with you guys the past <laughs> the past like I don't know week for Virgo I keep getting like this desire to be impulsive or you know there's something like super exciting okay some kind of exciting new adventure that you want I feel like it has you in a new energy doing different things acting a different way yeah okay the devil look at this though this is what I'm saying okay did I say what this was? No. The Queen of Discs in your heart space, the Knight of Wands, Prince of Wands, um, on your mind and your challenge is the Ace of Wands. Next three cards, you have the Devil, the Three of Swords, and the Queen of Swords, okay? There's, it's like, um, I mean, I hate to put it this way, but it's like someone who's headed, headed for destruction, okay? I, I, trust me, I really don't want to have to put it that way, but it's like all that I'm getting. It's like it feels good in the meantime, but it's not going to leave you feeling as healthy as you need to be. Whatever this is. So just be mindful of, of that, okay? Especially if there's some kind of offer or proposition that is super exciting, that piques your interest. Libra, what's up, Libra? <sighs> okay. Um, Libra, I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, I truly do. Let me know down in the comments down below how this message resonates or just how you are in general. Um, there's a first time for everything, right? They're asking me to specifically check in on your person. I don't know why, but um, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, those of you who have been here before, you know that I typically do my three card spread to take a look at your heart space, your head space, and your challenge for the day, but um, they're asking me to specifically look at or into your person, whoever that is, okay? So somebody who's been on your mind, perhaps, maybe a cancer, the chariot at the bottom. The Empress, the Hierophant, and the Eight of Wands. This, whoever this is, is going through some kind of significant transition. Okay, for a lot of you, it feels like the question is is why there hasn't been any communication, right? Um, this could have been a a, a, um, a separation, or maybe there was an argument, or or um, you know, it didn't have to be an argument, but if it's like there was a and it, okay Amira what's understood doesn't have to be said kind of situation where we're going to part ways whether it's because there was an argument or because we were butting heads and don't know where to go from here but whoever this is they're going through some kind of significant transformation okay I do feel like there's been conversations with them and other people for some of you this is your mother Okay, I feel like there's they've been having conversations about you with other people, specifically could be your siblings here with the three of cups showing up. Um, but I do feel like this is coming to an end. Yeah, okay, it is, it is. And whoever these people are that they're talking to, um, they are kind of, I don't know, enlightening them on what what it is that they did wrong or uh, helping their perspective, okay? Helping them to see it from multiple perspectives here. Okay, that's for Libra. Hopefully that brought you some clarity, okay? Or peace. All right, Scorpio, what's going on? Get your message, Scorpio, for March 30th, 2022. For Scorpio, please. What's going on for Scorpio? I hope you guys are doing well. I really do. Thank you so much for showing up for your continued love and support here on the channel. It is truly appreciated. Let's see what's going on for Scorpio, please. March 30th. Okay. 
I don't know why I just started hearing Dora Explorer in my head. That was interesting. Come on, Vamanos. <laughs> Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Okay. <laughs> what is that about? Okay, maybe you guys are considering going on a journey or um, it feels like pump some, you know, like pumping, pumping something up, pumping yourself up or like a, like a hype man or a hype group. I don't know. There's um, enthusiasm and um, um, encouragement. That's what it feels like. Interesting. Yeah, the princess of discs here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, the page of discs is someone who is dedicated, who is focused, but it's also about starting over on a new journey. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords in your heart space, which really, 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 really hurts. There's some kind of significant relationship here with the Two of Cups on your mind that this is pertaining to. So, either this is a relationship that you are all that you are still um, a part of, okay, romantic or otherwise. Um, but what has occurred within this relationship? I feel like you guys are wanting a fresh start of some sort, but my question to you, yeah, with the judgment card, what's that? Queen of Swords, the judgment and the page of Pentacles. My question to you is, are you really ready for a fresh start? Because your challenge is this seven of wands. Okay. Seven of Wands is, in fact, someone who is determined, um, but it can also represent someone who has a, an unnecessary guard or boundary up. So I would just say be mindful of that. Yeah, there's some kind of journey, okay? For some of you, this could be a spiritual awakening that's occurring on today, okay? Either for you or your person. <sighs> that's for Scorpio. Sassy, Sassy Sag. What's going on, Saggy? Let's get your message for March 30th, 2022. For my Sag, please. What's going on for Sag? What are they meant to know here and be aware of? Sag, don't forget to like this video, okay? And subscribe to the channel. I just heard go easy on him. That could definitely be referring, I mean, <laughs> okay. Two things before I even touch the cards. First thing is it could be referring to a masculine energy that you need to go easy on, but it was not him, it was EM, like go easy on him, okay? That message could definitely be pertaining to somebody that you need to go easy on. It could also be speaking to me, okay, and what energies we're going to pick up on here and me needing to go easy on you. But I'm being transparent, so let's see. We have the hangman showing up in your heart space. Judgment card. Whew. Sheesh. There is a lot... Here, okay, with this judgment energy on your mind. Your challenge is the death card. All right, um, I'm the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. There's something significant here, um, Sag that you guys are holding on to, okay? I say it's significant because I know it is. What what specifically it is, I don't know. It could be a loss, okay? Um, and when I say a loss, that, that could be many different things. That could be a physical loss of a loved one. That could be um, a, a, a feeling of losing oneself because you have to make some kind of sacrifice. Um, as far as your, your, you know, how you think about a situation or how you move forward. Um, nonetheless, it's been really hard on you. Okay. The hangman showing up in your heart space, um, definitely speaks to someone who is holding on. Okay. Cause whatever this is, is near and dear to your heart. 
I feel like you guys know that you need to move forward. I feel like you know that you need to come to terms with whatever this ending is. It just is hard. Now, there's some kind of clarity showing up here today. There's some kind of awakening. There's some kind of significant enlightenment, okay, that I feel like you guys need to be prepared for. You have the Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. So this this communication or clarity is relieving some sense of stress and anxiety that you've had, allowing you to move forward, but you need to be prepared for it is basically um, what this is saying to me. Okay, thanks for sagging. <sighs> Capricorn, what's going on? Let's get your message for March 30th for Capricorn. Thank you guys for being here. Wow, it's truly appreciated. All right, without you, I mean, I wouldn't be here, right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> Don't forget to hit that like button before you run off, okay? Couple more. Just one. I need to look at this. Queen of Cups. Okay. Um, you have the chariot in your heart space. P the princess of cups is on your mind. And your challenge today is the fool card. <sighs> okay. They're saying put your big girl panties on. Put your, put your big girl draw. Big boy, big girl draws on. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> There's something here that you need to say. Okay. Or do. For some of you, this could be an action. Um, yeah, Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Nine of Swords, something that you guys have been really stressing over, okay? This could have to do with a conversation that needs to be had with your children or with your parent. But um, you guys, you definitely know that you need to do it. You feel it in your heart. A lot of you intuitively, it's pulling at you. Um, I feel like you've been over it and over and over it again in your head as far as what you're going to say or how you're going to initiate something. Your challenge is the full card. Jump off the damn cliff. Okay. Just take that leap. Trust where you're being led. Trust where you're being led. The fool does things because the consequences will be worth it. All right. And that's really what this situation is speaking of. Aqua. What's up? What's up? What's up, Aquarius? Let's get your message for March 30th for my Aqua babies. I hope you guys are doing well out there, wherever you are, whatever you're going through. Let's see what's going on, though, for March 30th for you guys, okay? a self-care day okay what's the challenge you yeah, have the temperance even if that means you you have to go to work still even if that means you still have obligations even if that means you, you can't kick your kids out the house you need to be aware okay of how you're feeling you need to be aware of when you're not um putting yourself first Okay, four swords in your heart space, queen of cups on your mind. The temperance energy is your challenge. Figure it out, okay? There's a need to figure it out. Maybe do some meditation here um, or take a bath even, even, okay? The small things, it's the small things. If you Even if you have to take a bath instead of taking a shower to start your day or to end your day, it's things like this that really make a big difference in the long run. Okay, you don't have to jump in. The temperance energy is about trying things out in moderation, 
Just dip your toe in the water, okay? Figure out if that thing works for you and how you can modify it moving forward. But there's some kind of practice here that needs to be started. That's for Aquarius. Pisces, what's going on, soul family? What's up? Let's get your message, Pisces, for the 30th, March 30th, for my soul family. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, I truly do. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button before you run off and subscribe. What message is here for my Pisces, please? Um, what day is it? Something they're saying 48 hours, Pisces. Okay, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter what day it is, something about 48 hours. Some of you may be giving a 48 hour notice, or maybe something is occurring in 48 hours. I don't know. Okay, but and that's not going to be for everybody, trust me. Yeah, the devil card showing up in your heart space. The ace of pentacles is on your mind. Yeah, you're waiting for something. You're waiting for something. The challenge is the eight of swords. You guys are super freaking anxious today. I'm even shaking as I'm in this energy. Okay. If you guys can see that. You guys are extremely anxious today. Waiting for something. It feels really positive. Yeah, the princess of discs at the bottom. Okay, maybe you, you have something to give to someone else or you're giving of yourself to someone else. This feels like um, a really, um, I don't know, I want to say vulnerable or generous, like uh, very grateful energy and attitude. But whatever it is, it feels like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for it. Okay, maybe waiting for an opportunity, waiting to hear back about something. Um but still saying yeah three of wands two of wands and the three of pentacles okay you've been waiting for something for some of you this could be a job offer as well it has a lot to do with your future as well yeah it has a lot to do with your future i feel like it's good news though pisces i really do okay whatever this is is going to propel you into some kind of new journey Okay, so, I mean, relieve yourself of this anxious energy. This is just a tad bit. <laughs> okay, just a tad bit. Hold on for 48 more hours, I suppose. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been your daily message. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. I love you guys to life, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye.